welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today I have a very special back to school treat for you. It is SimCity Classic on the Mac. This is a game that I played a hell of a lot when I was a kid in school. It came out in 1989, and it was a game that we all had on, uh, on pretty much every Mac in our computer lab. And it's pretty much all we did whenever we got to go into the computer lab and have free time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start a new city here, creating a new map. Um, so as you can see, this game is entirely in black and white. And if you've never played this before, you may look at this and go, Oh dear God, this looks horrible. But if you are one of the many people who did grow up playing this game, you're probably looking at this being like, I'm so excited to see SimCity in glorious black and white and gray tones. Um, let's generate a new map. I don't like that one, by the way. This map displeases me. Um, this one has possibilities. Maybe we could build up an island in the center of the city where we send our criminals to fight each other. I like the sound of that. There are no prisons in this version of SimCity, but we'll find a way to make it happen. So we're going to go ahead and use this map. Um, easy, medium, or hard? I mean, why would you not start the game on easy? The whole point of SimCity is to build stuff. Why would you intentionally limit yourself by playing on hard? I guess if you have something to prove. You're like, I only play SimCity on the hardest course setting to prove I'm a man. Well, we're not going to prove we're men today. We're going on easy. Uh, city by default is named somewhere. Let's name it something more fun. How about um, we will name this Capital City City. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't work like that. Capital, how about just capital city? Capital of what you may ask? I don't know. Capital of something. Now, here we are in our comprehensive map overview. We're going to put this to the side over here, and we're going to pop back over to our main view here. Actually, let's go, uh, let's, where should we start? Let's start building our city. Um, let's start building right here. So we'll go ahead and pop over to our Mac view. Now, um, as I said, SimCity here was one of the great uh, games of my youth. And I thought with school starting up for many people out there, why not do a back-to-school episode? And an awesome back-to-school idea would be playing some Sim Freaking City. So here we are. That's, the, that's how A led to B led to C. This is a game that was pretty much on, as I already said, every single um, computer when I was a kid. It was like this, the Oregon Trail... And then like some random games like maybe Number Munchers, um, Sim Earth, and Sim Ant were on uh, computers not infrequently. We're building some nice harborfront uh, property to start us off, by the way. Going to give them a nice private road here. This will be where the rich people live, and they, they stare across the island, and they look at the chaos and the violence that ensues from all the criminals that have been sent there. And they feel... They feel a welling peace inside because they know that they will ne that they and their children will never succumb to the fate of those criminals. Now, we need a power station. Um, I guess let's build our power plant over here. So we're going to screw up some waterfront property. But that's okay. It'll be on the other side of the, the prison island. What? Oh, uh, what is that? Oh, a tornado. Oh, my God. We, we started a tornado. Uh, our tornado has started. We don't even have power yet. Literally, no one lives in our city. In fact, I can't even find where we, where we put those buildings. There we are. I should really use the keyboard to scroll. It actually makes life a lot easier. Okay, we need a power plant. We're going to go straight nuclear. It's 1904. I don't think they had nuclear power back then. But uh, we're not going to let a little thing like history um, put a kink in our, our desire to build a nuclear power plant. So there we go. We, you know what, if nothing else, this city may not be like a very impressive city, but dear God, we have nuclear power in 1905. That in itself, I think, is an achievement, okay? I'm, I'm placing these, these cables too gingerly. It's because I don't want to like do what I did right here and like accidentally place one up. Um, there might be a key that I can hold to force it to always place uh, these things in a line, but uh, it's been so long, obviously, since I played. It's been about, uh, I don't know, 25 years since I've played this game, so forgive me if I don't remember all the commands. Um, oh, damn it. I was trying to be so careful. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and bulldoze these two things. Boom. All right, our city is starting. We have one power plant. We have a bit of a... Uh, bit of um, residential neighborhoods and that's basically it um, we're gonna go ahead and let's build some industrial you know what let's hell let's start with a port normally I build a port much later in the game but we're gonna go ahead and start with one so we're gonna put it like right I want to have lots of water access oh what is this oh the budget 
1908 fiscal budget. Um, we don't need any money for fire or police. There are no police in Capital City. It's a law. It's a law of the jungle out here, really. Again, we have prison islands, so we don't really need cops. Tax rate seven percent. That's pretty good. We only collected thirty nine dollars, which makes me think like not a lot of people are living in our city yet. Uh, we're getting the old school Mac error sound effects. Boom! There's our there's our uh, our uh, harbor. Okay, so we also need industry. Lots of industry going to go in here to Capital City. Good old Capital City. Top of the morning to you, 1909. Um, so let's do this. And this. Oh, God. I have not really thought thought this was. There's going to be some awkward roads in the first for the for the first little bit here. This. This is, like, not actually how you want to build a city. Oh, time's going so fast. Hold on. Hold on. Pa in fact, don't pause the game totally, but let's slow things down here. So, okay. We're going to... It looks like a, a disaster mess here, guys. But trust me, I kind of have a plan, and things are going to get tidied up real soon. You'll see. Just believe in me, and everything's going to be okay. Okay, I think that's tons of industry. And we're just going to go ahead and connect all these things up. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is build some roads so people can get to their jobs at various industries. We're, we're big into industry here in Capital City. So we would zoom the road up here around and about. Now, SimCity here, I, I honestly, I, I, I was thinking about this before I made this video. I kind of feel like SimCity is the Minecraft of my generation. Like, SimCity is kind of like playing with Legos. Have you guys ever thought that before? Like, literally, I, I don't know about you, but I don't go into SimCity with, like, a plan. I'm not like, oh, well, first I'm going to build residential uh, areas in this exact formation, and then I'm going to go ahead and build, like, no, 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 no. Literally, as I'm playing SimCity here, I'm making it up as I go along. If it looks like I have a plan for what I'm doing, I don't. Every time I click the mouse, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder what I can do with that. Oh, that happened. All right, well, let's go with it. So, yeah, I'm just sort of figuring it out as I go. And just, it, it's kind of like drawing or like doodling. Like, you just kind of draw, and whatever kind of looks good is... Is kind of you know well that that's that. Um, so there, that's our industrial area for now. Hopefully that perks up. Um, oh man, look look. So this bar over here tells you what's in demand. Residences are not in demand, which is weird because it's like I just grew to two thousand people, but they don't want to live anywhere. So that makes me think the people want to be hobos. Like it's a town of like wide-eyed you know, naive drifters who just, they, they have this fantasy in their head that being homeless is like this noble endeavor, but it's not. You want to live in a home, man. High rises for all. So I'm going to, I'm going to dispel you foolish people of, of your silly hippie notions and start building you houses because that's in the real world. We live in houses. We don't live on dreams and, and moonbeams people. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm leaving a gap here because uh, I want to start building a mass transit system. Because if you don't do this, then trust me, things get very busy very quickly. And uh, before you know it, people uh, people are complaining about traffic. People in this game like to complain. Like, if, you, if you're going to play SimCity, you basically have to resign yourself to the fact that you're just going to be dealing with complaints of imaginary citizens for a couple of hours. Because that's, that's all that happens. You can't please everyone. No matter how big your city gets, there's always going to be problems. Um, but but that said, you know, I, I, I'm not trying to take anything away from SimCity. Sim if you can't tell, this is one of my favorite games um, from my childhood. Uh, again, that I used to play at school um, all the time. A little fun uh, fun bit of trivia here for SimCity. Um, are taxes okay? Are taxes okay? I feel like, oh man, we're losing money. Cla cash flow is negative twenty-eight dollars. Okay, we 100% need more citizens. 100%. So let's let's uh, let's stop with uh, building transit and, and things like that, and get to actually building um, building more residential areas because because we need people to live here or this this whole project is not going to work. So let's just go ahead and continue building up some residential uh, neighborhoods. Uh, but interesting little bit of trivia here for SimCity. Um, some people recognize it as originally coming out on the Mac, like I do. Um, it also came out on DOS shortly after the Mac. I think it was originally released for the Mac and the Amiga. But after that, or, or 
sorry, I, I should say, but it was never originally developed for the Mac. It was originally developed for the Commodore 64 in 1985, which is a couple of years, a couple of years before it actually came out on, um, on Mac. So what happened, you may ask? Well, the game was developed um, for Commodore, and I guess the developers looked at it and they're like, oh, this is a great game, but uh, we're not ready to release it yet. Um, it was still under a working title of Micropolis, not SimCity. Um, and they just sort of weren't ready to put it out yet, so it never got released on Commodore until after it had come out on the Mac. So there you go. It it's a, has a very interesting development history where it was technically... Uh, came out technically developed for the Commodore 64 first, but technically came out on the Mac and the Amiga first. So uh, take that for what it is worth. Okay, so we, we're building up a very nice residential area here in, uh, in in Capital City. People have to take the train if they want to work at their industrial jobs. It's really the only the only jobs in Capital City. But we're going to change that very soon by adding in some corporate head offices. This is a corporate sponsorship of Capital City. They need a place to set themselves up as well. So we're gonna go ahead and have a little road that loops in here. I guess I'm gonna, so this, this road stuff is turning into a bit of a nightmare. I'm gonna, I think, build a little park in here. I think that is how I will justify it. You know, the, it, it's like just gray right now. That actually means it's forest. This is forest right now, so I guess I could leave it. I think forest and park count the same in terms of, um, in terms of like beautifying and uh, and being in like increasing land value and things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and build a commercial zone here. Make sure to wire it up, give it plenty of power. Gonna go ahead and we'll keep doing this. So I, I, I always get the feeling like when people watch other people playing SimCity, it's like watching those Bob Ross, you know, like painting by numbers thing where he's like, oh, I'm just going to paint like a little bush right here. I'm going to gonna put like a little cloud here. Like you're probably watching this kind of just zoning out. Maybe it's hypnotic to you, just kind of watching the road slowly taking shape, wondering, you know, where where's he going to put the next road and where's that next bush gonna go and et cetera, et cetera. Sort of a Bob Rossi kind of quality, I think, uh, to watching SimCity cities get built. I mean, it does feel like, it feels like drawing or playing with Legos or, you know, SimCity, it's, it's like a stream of consciousness. Like nobody, as I said, nobody sits down in front of SimCity with like a plan precisely of what they want to build. We're gonna raise some taxes to get some more money because we're slowly bankrupting ourselves with all this construction. So uh, hopefully everything's going well over here. You know what we do need is a police station. You guys need a you, you need some cops to, to watch over you because I don't trust you people. This is a lawless town. Uh, I don't want to put the cops right on the waterfront because that's that's good property. We don't want to give that to the cops. Put it right there at the corner of this busy street. So it always it always amazes me. It always it interests me what areas of a city become densely populated and like look like the roads are getting really busy here. So, um, ooh, our town has grown into a full-size city with a population of 10,000. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. I will do that. I guess we also need fire stations because we definitely don't want our city burning down randomly. That would not be good. Uh, if it burns down, it's going to burn down because we want it to burn down. Not because some accident, some stupid accident, some intern... Uh, burned a pita pocket in the microwave or something like that. Um, should we build some trend? I, I'm, I'm tempted to build more trains, but that might just distract us from... Uh, man, everything's in demand right now. It might just distract us from continuing to build the city. So let's build up a little bit more industry here. Boom. Uh, I guess we, we can have another row of industry over here. I feel like industry is not paying its share of the taxes. I think there are too many corporate tax breaks in J to or not J in Capital City here, because we are we're going bankrupt basically. In fact, where is our budget? Um, so we do have a positive cash flow, but we do not have a high cash flow. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to underfund the cops, pretty much, because I can't afford it. And uh, I guess I'm going to continue to fund transit, but everything else, cops and fires, eh, those things, those things don't happen to people. 
Fires don't really happen. You just read about them in books. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Um, it's always weird when, like, there's, like, all these industry zones are taken up, and here's one that, like, no one wanted to build here. Like, what is it, haunted by the ghost of, like, a little kid or something like that? Okay, they're finally picking up. There we go. What about this one? Nobody wants... Beautiful! Beautiful beachfront industry! Uh, industrial zone. You can you can build a factory and have a nice beach for your employees at the same time. Well, I guess you probably wouldn't want to swim in that water if you're dumping toxic waste in there, too, from industry. Wow. These are really like the beachfront townhouses. Like, they have not turned into apartment complexes. These did. These are like the beach condos. This is like uh, beach malls and stuff. Like, nobody want... This is... What's wrong with this spot? Nobody wanted to build there. Weird. Okay, so we need to leave our taxes up for a while because, like, honestly, we don't have a lot of money to play with. But that's okay. So I should mention that I've actually already played SimCity on my channel. A long time ago, I played it as part of my Let's Play 1001 game series, where I'm working through the book 1001 Video Games and Just Play Before You Die. Um, and there I played the DOS version of the game. And I really had a fun time with that, and for a long time, I've wanted to go back and play uh, play SimCity again. Um, but I, I very consciously wanted to play this version. I wanted to play the version on uh, on Mac. In fact, when I originally played uh, this game for my for my Thousand One series, I actually wanted to play the Mac version. It's just it's really difficult to get that working, um, and it took a lot of jumping through hoops and a lot of work to actually get um, a working Mac version of this game. And so today. Um, I'm not only excited to be playing this game, but I'm excited to be playing this game. I'm excited that it actually works. Um, and I didn't know if it was going to happen. I, I've literally, for the past, you know, several months, have been sort of on and off trying to get a version of this that I could actually play. So it's a pretty exciting day, I will say, um, to actually have this game up and running again. And it's, it's definitely bringing me back to like uh, the you know computer lab time when uh, when I was in school as a kid. Um, did did you guys ever used to have like a certain computer that you sat at in computer lab? Like I kind of remember that there was like certain spots in the computer lab that I liked to sit, and other spots that I like didn't. So there was like my spot, and then spots that weren't my spot. If that makes any sense. Um, there were like the good computers, um, and you and your friends would like always sit in this very specific corner. Um, that that's like my memories of uh, computer lab, and and also you always wanted to sit in an area where the teacher couldn't necessarily see what you were doing, so that you could kind of get away with stuff. Because uh, let's be let's be honest, when you put a computer in front of a kid while they're in school, they're gonna find a way to play a game. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If there is a way to maybe play a game, the kid will find the way to play a game. I feel like these days. That doesn't surprise anyone. Like, you know, teachers know that you can't let kids have their smartphone in class. And, you know, you really got to, like, watch them and stuff. But back in the day, when computers were, like, relatively new and adults didn't really understand them, but kids did, adults were like, oh, these things are highly educational. We'll just put a computer in front of them and they're going to learn, learn, learn. And uh, that was kind of true. Then they kind of clued into the fact that all we wanted to do was play video games. They're like, hey, these things can be used to play games. We were lied to. They were just trying to sell us computers, as it turns out. These things aren't purely educational, um, but it was too late. Too late to return the computers at that point. Um, though this, you know, this really is an educational game. Um, it's funny because it's, it's kind of like Oregon Trail in that, like, technically, Oregon Trail is an educational game. But, like, honestly, is it? You know, like, it gets hyped all over and over again about how it's, oh, it's educational, told the story about, you know, pilgrims, like, uh, you know, migrating f uh, over to California. And it's like, yeah, I guess at some level it's educational, but let's be honest, the thing we mostly learned uh, when we played Oregon Trail is that being the banker was the best, and how to shoot buffalo, and get a lot of meat, and if you're going to ford a river, be prepared to drown along the way. You Like, we learned things that, like, aren't necessarily the things that they thought we would learn. Same with SimCity, like, okay, technically it's an educational game. Oh, you learn about, an, you know, uh, urban development and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, kind of, but how much you actually learn it? I think you're learning more about, like, 
Um, I mean, I guess you do learn that cities have to have taxes. Oh no, a flood! Oh no! Oh! Oh, it's getting big really fast! Oh my god! Oh, that's huge! Oh, it took out the fire department and the police station, and it took out power to the whole city. Oh no. Okay, well, we can re repair that. Wow. That was... That was that was shocking. This has happened so so suddenly. What happened in 1932? Capital city had a flood of the flood for the ages. It just and as quickly as it came, it was gone. Whoops! Did not want to do that. Does not need to route power to itself. Well, wow, that was so random. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead here and build Prison Park, which is a nice beautiful park that you can uh, come and you can watch fireworks and also the prisoners in the center island. Um, combat each other to death, sort of like Hunger Games style. So we'll build our park. There's, a be there's some beautiful fountains in the center of the park there, and one right near the water. Actually, let's get rid of that one, because that doesn't make too much sense. So there's some fountains in the middle of the park. Um, all looks good. We're making good money. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll keep the railroads going down. So the only way on and off of Prison Park is going to be through the prison rail system. And so, like, when prisoners want to, like, plan their escape, they have to do it through, like, the train station. So there's there's Prison Park for you. And actually, so it looks like a football stadium, but in fact, it is the state, it is like the, the it's the game, not the Game of Thrones, it is the uh, Hunger Games stadium, where the the uh, prisoners fight fight to the death. So we're going to build a stadium here. And we'll build some power cords, yep, up like this. Good. I always found it difficult in this game to figure out where my money was. Like, it's so small. It's like right up here, if you can see it, $806. So uh, it's not like we have a lot of money. Um, police departments need funding. Yeah, I bet they do. I bet they do. What we need is some corporate headquarters of the companies that run Prison Island. They're all gonna exist right over here. And, oh shoot, they need power. Oh no, where are they gonna get power from? Go with those figures. Okay, I guess we gotta run some power cables down this way. Oh, this could bankrupt us. We do not have extra money to be doing this. And, I guess we'll go like this. Boom, there, okay, hopefully, Majestic corporate headquarters arise. And... Oh man, this is going to be so sloppy. I guess I'll do a train track. I wanted to do a road down here, but I would have had to bob and weave it around. All right, there's there's the corporate headquarters. They better, they better build something cool there. And I guess we'll build some more residential stuff here. Maybe like this and this and this. See, the problem is I can't get roads over here. I think I'm going to have to continue this road. Because I don't want to build train tracks through here. I guess I'll do this. Boom. There we go. Good old crossroads. And this is where the families of the prisoners live. See, in the later SimCities, you actually could build a prison. So in this first SimCity, you were limited to, like, industry, commerce. You could build, like, an airport if you wanted. There was a few other things. But it's fairly limited. Like, an airport is kind of what we're building up to. Oh, God. Oh, God, there's no one living here. Look. Oh, it's it's all but abandoned. We sent everyone to Prison Island. It was a huge mistake. Okay, um, here's, here's what we can do. Let's go ahead and give corporate tax breaks out the wazoo. 3% tax rate for literally everyone. Come back to us. Come live in the glorious capital city. This is where you all want to go. I know it. Trust me. Trust me. In fact, let's check out our maps here. So in this overhead map, you could get uh, you could get a breakdown of how your city was was doing. So let's go ahead and see population density. So the darker areas mean high, the gray areas mean light. So we lost a hundred dollars this year, but I think our population's growing, which is what matters. Traffic density. Our traffic is actually not bad, all things considered, but I think it's because nobody's living in our city. Pollution density, of course, it's really high over here in the um, industrial area, but that's to be expected. Um, that's okay. Then we have crime. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, there is some crime over here, so maybe we need to build another police station. But look at this! 
Oh my god, the industrial zone is riddled with crime. It is like Gotham City over here. Oh my god, okay, we need to build a police station or two. So one more police station right there to try and curb the like... Maybe it's not even like, uh, you know, like, like muggings and stuff. Maybe it's corporate crime. Maybe this is like a highly corrupt uh, kind of white collar district. I don't know, but my god. Well, I mean, what's what did we expect? What did we expect in a city that has literally an island for prisoners? We expected crime. It's what we thought would happen. It's what did happen. In a way, we're kind of proud. So, okay, so we built uh, another police station there to try and stem the nonstop crime. Uh, what else we got going on here? Land value. Uh, okay. And fire radius. Oh, we actually do need a fire department over here, too. So let's go ahead and where's the fire? Build this. Boom. There we go. So we have a fire department, police department. Everything's looking up for Capital City. Oh, there's our there's the corporate headquarters of E Corp, the corporation that holds the public contract to send prisoners to battle to the death in the death stadium. Da -da -da, there's prisoners battling right now. It was uh, shirts versus skins. And then everyone went home. There's a, there's a boat. I guess we should build a road to Prison Island. Oh, hell, let's do it. Because it's kind of cool. You get, like, a drawbridge when you do this. So you get, like, a bridge. Oops. And boom, look, there's a drawbridge. So uh, if people want to come to the Prison Island... Oh, we have zero funds. Zero funds. Okay, I, I saw what happened there. We, we went bankrupt. We're going to have to raise the taxes a little bit. And we are on the fastest, so we're just waiting for time to click by. See, now, with SimCity, everyone always liked the initial phase of building up a city, but when you get to this, pa th this part where you just kind of have to, like, wait for taxes to come in and stuff, the game always got a little less fun, if we're being totally honest. Because, like, you couldn't just continue to build and build and build to your heart's content. Hey, we have a hospital. That's something. We're actually... We're on the map if we have a hospital. Um, because... Yeah, you, like, you can't build to your heart's content, so you're kind of like, yeah, well, it was fun building up, now I just have to like wait in 30-second intervals. It's kind of like those mobile games where, you know, you like tiny towers. You start to build a store, and it takes two seconds. And then the next one, five seconds. The next one, ten seconds. And then eventually you're waiting like a day and a half before you have enough money to build the next store. And, like, that's okay, but it's like the thing that gets you interested in the game initially, the building... Um, doesn't is isn't there uh, as, as you progress in the game? Like it definitely slows down. So this game becomes much more about balancing budgets um, later in the game, as opposed to um, you know building, which is fine. But it's just sort of like I I just want to keep building stuff, and we have to like take short breaks here because uh, we can't just build stuff nonstop. Um, okay, so. I feel like prisoners on this island also need to be put to work. Like, they need to be doing hard labor. So, let's build some industrial zones. Oh god, what was that? Looked like a bomb. A shipwreck was reported. Oh no! The only ship in town sank. The SS, I'm the only one. Oh no, that's sad. Well, I mean, you know. What do sailors say when you send someone off? Cheers, mate? You know, here's to you, mate? I don't even know. Like, what, do they toast each other? I don't know. But, uh, I guess, I guess that ship is gone now. It's too bad. Let's develop Prison Island a little bit here. Whoops. Oh, man, we're really botching it with the road structure. There we go. People can come. You can come to Prison Island. I guess people do want to come and like be in the stands. You want to see, if you're gonna watch Prisoners Duels of the Death, you want to do it in person. You don't want to like like a Nancy be sitting out here in uh in this like rich man's townhouse watching with binoculars from a distance. You want to see it. If you want to see one man crush another man's skull, you want to do it in person. Hear like the crunch of the bone. Real uh, real visceral experience. So I just sort of been on autopilot with all these taxes. I guess let's raise them a little. We do need money. If there's one thing we never have enough of, it's money. Don't know what to expand. Look at this. Look at all this traffic here. 
There's nothing. There's no one lives here. No one lives here or here. Okay, you know what? In fact, because no one lives there and there's so much traffic, I'm gonna bulldoze that and I'm gonna build some more roads. See if this will satisfy them. You insatiable freaks. Stop driving everywhere. Take a bus. Take a bus once in a while. I guess we'll build a park here. So when the people get stuck in uh, traffic, they can look at a nice looking park. In fact, these should all be parks. Parks, parks, and parks. There we go. Oh my god. In fact, let's just, let's just bite the bullet and bulldoze this too. And we'll build more parks. Parks and parks and parks. We gotta keep people entertained so they don't go into full open rebellion against me here. I think that's the number one goal. The thing that sucks is there's no way to get rid of this extra power core that's hanging over the road, except you demolish the road. And then you have to like rebuild the road. It's kinda dumb actually. I wish there was a way to get rid of it. But it's just how the game works. So the source code for uh, good old Sim City here, by the way, was released. Um, was released... when was it released? A while back, actually. A nuclear meltdown! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Right near the fire plant. Or the, the fire station. Uh-oh. Um... Okay, disaster. Disaster. We need uh, another nuclear power plant. And we do not have time to build into safe zone, so it is going right next to, uh right next to the, the stadium, which is actually kind of cool. Maybe maybe we can like irradiate some of the prisoners, turn them into like freakish mutants and make them fight each other. Pollution alert. Yeah, I just had, oh God. Oh my God. Yeah, pollution alert indeed. Oh God, look at, look at all those radioactive isotopes. Oh no. Okay, um, we have to run power. This is like emergency power coming from the prison into the city. Dear God. Okay. Um, I've never seen that happen. Of course it would happen when I'm making a YouTube video, damn it. What the hell, man? Who was in charge of the power plant when that happened? Because you're all fired. Um, oh my God. So I guess they're powered again. These people are just going along with their... Imagine working in an irradiated zone. Like that, that's not cool. Oh my god. Well, we, well, they're powered. I don't I don't know what the consequences of like this square being disabled are. I don't know. We're just going to leave it. They said avoid this area, but you know what? Screw them. If people want to work here, it's their right. I'm not going to take I'm not going to take away the rights of my citizens by telling them they can't work in a nuclear uh, wasteland. That'd be downright un-American. Just going to let them do it. And uh die horrible horrible deaths from radiation poisoning. In fact, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a new city over here. Hey, what happened over here? It looks like there was a forest fire. Huh. Okay, we're going to start a peaceful utopia over here that has nothing to do with the crime-ridden metropolis cesspool that is capital city. Or the irradiated north, which is new Fallout-topia. We're going to start it. We're going to come over here and we're just going to create farms. What? A large reptilian creature! Wait, am I playing this on easy or what? A monster's attacking me. It seems to be attracted to the area of high pollution. There's a trail of destruction wherever it goes. Uh, as a last resort, try calling whatever that is. Other than that, wait till he leaves and rebuild from the rubble. Oh my god. No! He's going to Prison Island! Oh my god, this is turning into like a movie. It was like, first of all, it was like Hunger Games, and then we built a nuclear reactor, and now we're mutating prisoners before they go in here to fight. And now, literally, Godzilla has come to kill us all. Um, oh my god. Oh wait, where is he going? He's going for a swim. I think he's just out for a casual swim. He doesn't want to hurt anyone. We're, we're jumping to conclusions by judging this giant reptile monster. He's like, just because I'm a giant reptile monster doesn't mean that I'm evil. I just... Maybe, maybe we can hit him to fight in the prison. Be like having a guest star on a podcast. Bringing huge ratings! Huge ratings! Or maybe he's going for the evil corporate overlords? No, he's just, he's meandering around. Our monster attack turned into more of a monster, confused monster wandering session. So we're just going to leave that be. Oh my god, the things that have happened to us in this game. Okay, we're going to start a new community over here. A very peaceful community. There'll be one intersection in town. There'll be a general store. 
right here? Or actually, I take it back. I take it back. Okay, we're, we're redoing this. The one intersection in town will be all stores. And we'll have like, uh, it's like a little strip of stores. And then we're going to have a police station. And we'll have a fire station. Then we're just going to have some houses. And this, this is going to be it. This is going to be the new peaceful utopia where everyone comes to live. Nothing bad happens. Everybody knows your name. It's like Cheers in city form. Little restaurant by the water, I imagine. And then we'll have some houses. I know it doesn't have power right now. Trust me, I know. I'm, I'll get to it. I'm just I'm currently building the streets of of my my new fair utopia here, like this and like this, and like this. Okay, so this is going to be the city. Let's wire it all up. Give everyone high speed fiber optic internet. Um, in 1972. 1972, man. Oh, what the hell happened? Explosion! A random explosion. Oh, it's oh, Godzilla. He finally came for us. He's finally come to exact the revenge we all knew we deserved. Okay. Well, Godspeed, Godzilla. You crazy... You what? What is Godzilla, even? He's like a lizard monster thingy. I don't even know. 1974. You know, I wonder... You know what would be cool is if we could get to the current year. If I could get to the current year... Oh, Godzilla! What have you done over here, sir? Does it affect the power plant that, like, there's a whole chunk of it missing? Or is that just like, ah! Oh, Godzilla, he's starting fires! Oh my god. Well, the north is lost. It's kind of like in Game of Thrones, it's just chaos up there. I just don't want to go up. I don't want to even deal. It's like, I literally can't even right now. That... People are, like, interviewing the mayor. They're like, are you going to do anything about, uh, you know, the whole northern industrial section? I'm like, I literally can't even right now. We're just going to let that one go. And here we go. We're focusing on Newtopia here. Newtopia and Commerce Ave with uh, some nice residential areas. This is a, a peaceful place to live. A place where monsters won't rise from the sea and murder your entire family. We're not even going to go back and look at the rest of Capital City because I don't even want to know. Honestly, I don't even want to know. It's like a headache that I wish did not exist. We're just, we're starting over. We're starting fresh over here, guys. People over here don't even know the capital city exists. We don't even tell them. They're just like, where are you getting the funds to build this? I'm like, shush, 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 shush. Stop asking so many questions. Just enjoy it. Just be grateful there are no monsters coming to kill everyone. They're like, monsters? So uh, let's let's take a look here. So the industri industry in, on Prison Island is doing well. Um, six, we're up to like $6,000, which is pretty good. Okay, let's rebuild the train tracks so that, uh, well, I guess I should connect the roads. We're not going to leave them totally isolated. That would be foolish. Boom, there you go. Now, now they, they connect to the mainland and they realize that there's a whole other city out there and they're like, whoa. It's like that M. Night Shyamalan movie, spoilers, where they realize that they're actually in like the 2000s when you thought it was set in like the 1800s. These people are like, hey, it's not 1900, it's 1970, you lied to us. We were wondering how we had fiber optic internet. Also, even in 1970, fiber optic internet seems remarkably ahead of its time. We do live in a world where we had nuclear power at like 19, at like the turn of the century. So uh, best not to ask too many questions. So yeah, it is, this is a wasteland. People are still working here. The factories are still churning. Except these two. Oh, uh, it's a fire, it's what remains of a fire department and some kind of factory. Well, we'll power them up, see what they can produce. Too bad, it, it'd be kind of cool if like, when your city was in like ruins, if it turned into like uh, Sim City Fallout Edition, where like you had to fight off like super mutants and like arm your citizens and build like defensive structures, it basically just converted into like a real time strategy game. It's like no longer do you just have to build a city, now you have to defend a city. Things are not going so well over here. I thought this would be built up way faster. Nobody wants to live over there. Um, okay, I guess we should fund our police a little bit more. And yeah, we'll give them three hundred. I feel like that'll be good. That'll keep them quiet. 
and we'll just leave taxes the way they are. Man, this city is actually fairly anti so Look, what's going on here? Nobody wants to live there for some reason. So weird. I'm trying to make this place pleasant for all you people. There's a church. That hospital, wait, that hospital's still there? It's good. Corporate headquarters are still there. E Corp, watching over their, uh, their diabolical scheme. You know that it's their fault that Godzilla showed up. They totally were messing around with genetics. They, t you know, there was like some scientist on their payroll that was like, you can't do this. You'll create a monster. And there was like corporate bigwigs in suits that are like, get rid of him. And they like threw him out on the street and he tried to warn them. And then like their experimentation resulted in the beast that, uh, that decimated our city. Kind of a Jaws scenario where like me, the mayor, totally ignored it because it was just easier than having to deal. Because like I literally can't even right now. This this area is still not 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 really expanding the way I wanted it to. It's really taking its time. Like r people want residential, but like where do you want it? Okay, let, let's check our little thing over here. Um, we want land value. Land value. Wait, is high up there? What? That can't be. In wait. According to this, land value, this must be a mistake, is high right at ground zero of the nuclear explosion. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to just take a stab here and say what happens? Will somebody live here? That is the big question. Does somebody actually want to live here? If they do, I will allow it. I will not understand it, but I will allow it. Um I feel like we should save up for an airport. I think that's what our city is missing, an airport. Once we have an airport, I feel like things are going to turn around for us. So we need $10,000. It's 1987. It's the 80s, baby. You know, cocaine is flowing like uh, flowing like water. Everyone's, everyone's trading stocks, making money, Wolf of Wall Street style. 1987, baby. Two year, in, in one year, SimCity would drop and become one of the most cherished educational games out there. And meanwhile, we're saving up for an airport. What's, what is our population, actually? Windows evaluation, let's see. Is the mayor doing a good job? Oh, 65% yes. Those are pretty good approval ratings, all things considered. Um, 31,000 people. Um, I have a score of 600, which is on the lowish side. Um, that's fine. Crime is fairly... Oh, this, what's the worst problems? 17% of crime. I, I, it's interesting how nobody said giant lizard monsters arising from the sea. But, you know, if, that's, if that does not concern you, then it does not concern me. That's fine. Um, okay, you know what we're going to do? It's, it's almost airport time. And again, I th I'm pretty sure the airport is going to solve all of our problems. Oh, right, you can click up here. So in the upper right corner, there's this little, you may have seen these this grid of boxes and wondered what it is. It's so that you can click and scroll easily on the Mac without having to click on uh, the sort of um, scroll bars here, which is pretty handy. I mean, the user interface for this game is definitely primitive, but, it, uh, but, but it's definitely, like, good for its time. Um, okay. I think we need a higher tax rate. We're never going to be able to build this airport otherwise. I'm shocked that none of these ever became like high rises. It's crazy. Like, no one wants to live by the water. And, like, okay, people want residential, they want commercial, they want industrial, but nobody wants to live on this side of the map. It's so weird. Like, people are just uninterested. It's too small town, I guess. And, like, what are these buildings? See, see these commercial buildings? There's like a billion of them. They're all identical. I don't know what they are. Okay. Anyway, the time for questions is over. Time to build an airport. Where should we build it? I kind of want to build it on Prison Island, but then I kind of feel like the prisoners would all just escape. So how about we build our airport right over here? Boom! Airport time, baby! We have just enough money, probably, to wire it with the electricity and get, like, one road to it. Boom. Boom. And we need a road. Oh, there goes the plane, our first plane. It seems exciting. Oh, and a helicopter. It seems exciting that now we have a plane, but honestly, it just opens us up to plane crashes. 
Like, every, every time you make an achievement in this game, you're really just opening yourself up to, like, okay, what new disaster is going to happen now? Okay, we're going to go like this. Boom. Have a, little, have a little loop there for people who've gotten down there and realized, oh, crap, I'm at the airport. I took a wrong turn. We'll build a bit of industry down here near the airport. Oh, reporting heavy traffic. Ah! Oh, my God, there's a traffic report. That's, that's awesome. Skylar One reporting heavy traffic. I like that. Um, we'll give here. People may be wondering why we're building industry down here. They're like, "What happens to all that stuff up in the north?" And we're like, "We don't talk about it." This area here, yeah. No one, no one wants to live here. I, I, I hold out hope that eventually some, someone will get suckered in to living here. It would kind of be like the Fight Club house. Like the Fight Club house was in like an industrial area. Like, uh, if you go back and watch Fight Club, it's like a dilapidated like mansion, and, um, and in the movie they say, like, our only neighbors are, like, uh, shut down factories and stuff at night, so they're alone for, like, 50 miles in every direction. This is what it would be like. Literally, we're just waiting for Tyler Durden to move in here, and then we will have started the Fight Club house. Oh, this factory's not had power for a long time. There you go. Oh, there you go. Power! <laughs> Boom. Hey, stuff's still developing. Hey, look! All the, like, little mashed-up corners seem to have repaired themselves, or some of them have. Interesting. So, like, given enough time, I guess zones will, like, self-heal? I never knew that as a kid. Like, look, there's, like, a little radiation... radiation... radiation thing right here. I guess that will heal itself, given enough time? Hmm. 1997, people are worried about the Y2K bug. Hey, this 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 building finally got big, but this one got small. You win some, you lose some. People are about are worried about Y2K. People are worried about the turn of the the world ending, the Mayan apocalypses that everyone predicted that none of that oh, came true. Okay, that's kind of annoying. I wonder if we can turn that off. Um, disasters. Oh, there's a no disasters option. I mean, it's kind of too late now. I, I'm going to own it. I'm not going to, like, uh, you know, wuss out and turn them off, but I guess we could have turned them off. Uh, let's see. Crime has been stable since the early 90s. Um, land value's gone up. I don't know what that is. Um, let's look at the 120 year. Actually, that's more interesting. So, industry is all over the place. Like, is this helpful to anyone? Does this does this graph does this inform you about what's happened? Oh, we have a flood. A flood. Nowhere has flooded. A place where nobody is and nobody wants to be has flooded. So we're cool with that. We don't care. As long as my glorious small town over here is not flooded, it's like literally the boonies. It's like living out in the country. It's like nobody. No, you can't pay people to live out there. Maybe we should build a bigger oh, stadium. Heavy traffic. Hey, we're in the year 2000. Year 2000. Double the size of the stadium. No, let, let's continue to... Let's give the people what they want. Let's continue to expand this. We, have, we haven't built over here in ages. I feel like we've been, we've been being stupid about it, and it is, like, really delaying the growth of our city. We need to build more residential zones over here. We need more people to pay more taxes. That's what we need. Sweet, sweet taxes. And then we'll use that to build more city. And more city! And it will never end! Oh wait, what's that? I watch one reporting heavy traffic. Yeah, we get it. It's actually pretty impressive that we have, like, voice uh, audio in a game this old. I do not remember that when I'm thinking back to, like, playing SimCity as a kid. I do not remember... Uh, like a helicopter like that actually talked to you. Oh, we've reached the edge of the map here. Interesting. Let's build up like this. Just sit back. I'm going to Bob Ross it for a minute. Just build. Let the images that are on the screen serenade your cortex. Think about all the people living in these little buildings. Just watch the city slowly grow. Listen to the sound of my voice. I feel like I'm hypnotizing you guys. Maybe that's what Bob Ross was doing to us all those years. He's really like, he's not a good painter. He's just like the world's most effective hypnotist. He's like, relax and let the sound of my oh, voice heavy traffic. just put you at peace as we paint a little bush here, build a little tower, build some nice parks for the children to play in right behind these residential areas. 
feel like we need more commerce in the city. A city this big without more commerce is not going to make it. Okay, it's time for commerce. Wait, that's industry. We don't want that. I always, my only strategy in SimCity is to always build the industry like out of the city. Like that's the one thing I would never do is like mix industry into the city. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. But like I think commerce can. I think commerce can go both near the city and near industry. And then obviously residential areas you want to kind of keep secluded by themselves. Um, next to commerce is fine, I think, because people want no, stores and malls and stuff. Graphic. I mean, if it's not fine, it should be, because I would want stores and malls and stuff um, if I lived in a, in a virtual city here. Um, let's build a bridge over here. For a long time, this area's been too isolated. We've got to connect it up with the rest of the city. Like that. And... What else do we need to connect up? I guess we can build some residential areas and we'll mix in some commerce things seem to be going I, I'm really not paying attention to taxes at all but things seem to be doing okay because we're not getting any warnings that we don't have any money this and this it's always good to have like redundancies and to like really um, to really sort of connect a lot of the, the power grid all over the place so that if something were to happen and an area were to get damaged um, like if, if basically, if this block of commerce was only connected by one power, uh, power grid thing here, then if it got damaged, it would lose power. Oh no, we've got flooding over here, near the most beautiful area of town. We'll see what happens there. Um, nobody really lives over there, so I'm not super concerned. But yeah, if this was the only connecting thing, if this got damaged, this whole area would lose power. But you have like three of redundancies. Try and prevent that from happening. Um... I've kind of also given up on worrying about traffic. I'm like, you know what? There's traffic. Deal with it. New York City has traffic, yet people still move no, there. So, yeah, yeah. You, you've reported heavy traffic for decades, dude, and like no one has listened. So, you kind of have a stupid job because, you know, nobody cares. Let's build like this. Maybe we should build another road that goes all the way to the airport. We'll do that. Build one that goes like this. Over here. Try, just trying to like give people multiple routes to come to things to try and reduce the traffic. Rather than building trains, which are kind of a waste, in my opinion. I mean they're not actually, but I'm like, screw it. I'm like the mayor who doesn't care about trains. Watch one reporting heavy traffic. Shut up! Stop informing me, I don't care. Guess what? It's never going down. I'm never gonna change that, buddy. I want there to be heavy traffic. And I feel like I'm building these residential areas way too close to the airport. Time for some, not industry. I guess we'll just leave these zones big and empty. We'll do this, but then that's it. Boom. And boom. We're finally reaching a point where like, I feel like I'm making enough money that I don't have to worry about uh, I don't have to worry about money like I'm not placing buildings fast enough that um, that I'm running out of money I seem to be slowly gaining in money or else pretty stable so that is that is good that's that's the spot we want to be in essentially and we'll do this I think I have not built nearly enough industry you know what's gonna happen Okay, screw it. This beautiful utopia over here, where all the roads got washed away in a great flood. They've been disconnected from the mainland. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to build a whole bunch of industry over here. They also don't have any power. Watch one reporting heavy traffic. Shut up! There we go. Okay. Brownouts. Build another power plant. Can do, chief. You know what? We're going to go coal. We've got nuclear... We're going coal. Boom, there we go. That ought to keep those idiots happy. How much is coal? 3,000? I was like, maybe we should build another one. Nah, that's fine. Let's start building industry. We need, it's the year 2014. We need places to build the Google smartphones and the Apple smart. We should be building Apple. We're playing on a Mac. What do you mean, what do you mean Google? Oh, that's like sacrilege. We, we should be only, only touting Apple products. We're playing on a Mac for God's sake. So yes. Boop. 
you guys like those old school like sound effects like does that bring back memories bring back some for me and i didn't even own a mac boom okay we're gonna build like a little interesting little road system that cuts in here whoops whoop there we go that's like a really interesting way to build the industry uh, zone. But it's how I decided to do it, so... Don't judge me. And do this. Boom. 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 And we'll do this. And we'll do... So the industry is actually bringing people over here. We're getting traffic for the first time ever. These roads, no traffic. traffic. Not there's no traffic, but they know traffic. K N O W, they know it. It's not it's not a lot, but it's something. Oh, you know what I never built over here is police stations. <laughs> Tell you what, let's build a few of those. Let's build a few police stations. One cop station there, one fire department there, one fire department, one police station near the airport to keep the peace. And that's all fine. Police station, fire department, mm, police station up here, and fire department. Boom. The problem with building police and fire and, and fire is that you actually have to fund them. Oh, my city actually became a capital. Hey, we are li we're living up to our name, Capital City. Capital City is the capital of Jtopia. If you guys remember when I played uh, Axis and Allies, I promised you guys that everything I'd ever done in my life was building up towards me personally becoming the dictator of my own small country named Jtopia, where Video gaming would be mandatory for all. So, uh, yeah, why not? The <laughs> capital city here is the capital of Jtopia. It's, uh, it's a gaming-based economy. Education focuses around uh, the, uh, the three R's. Uh, running in first-person shooters. Um, reacting in first-person shooters. And owning noobs in first-person shooters. And that last one isn't an R, but... Uh, well, you know, when you have an education system that's based solely on video games, it's actually usually not uh, usually not that stellar for other things like spelling. But uh, we're not too worried about that in a good old Jtopia. We just want to play video games all t every time, all the time. And I guess our main export is gaming and gamers. So we both build video games and we export people who are really good at video games. Whoops. So, like, we train them up in school, and then we ship them off to the esports competitions in uh, Korea. That's how we make our money. Uh, the the gaming J-Bucks. That's how we pay for more video games. Basically, we have one giant Steam account for the whole city, and everyone has the password, and we all just share it. And that's how we, uh, that's what we do. And so far, it's worked out well. But eventually, they're going to figure out that uh, we're just sharing. We were sharing one Steam account and one Netflix account. <laughs> I wonder, there, must, there is some kind of limit, right, on, uh, like, Netflix accounts and stuff. Like, you couldn't buy one Netflix account and share it with, like, a thousand people, could you? I feel like that would not work. Oh, we're getting brownouts still. All right, we're going coal. Full coal, man. We saw what happened with nuclear. Mutated our prisoners beyond belief. They were amazing to watch, but they brutalized the guards and escaped at every single turn because we made them too powerful. So we're going all coal this time around. If this was real life and it was like, come to the football game right next to the nuclear power plant that's still damaged from the giant monster attack and the two coal power plants, um, that would be a horrible place to watch a football game. You would like, you'd probably like drive into like a puffy dark cloud on the island because there's so much air pollution. And you would just be like in a haze the whole time. Although maybe it'd be maybe it'd be the best football game ever. I mean, you'd be high the whole time, like on carbon monoxide poisoning. You'd be like, man, maybe it's the six arms I've got talking, but this football game's rad. Because you guys are all be stoned. That maybe that's the that maybe that's what they should do. Maybe it's a smart way to to get people interested in uh, in football these days. I don't know. Man, we've been playing this game for like. 
I Bob Rossed myself. We've been playing this game for like an hour. Um, I did not intend to play this game for this long. I did not know what my end game was, but uh, I feel like I wanted to make it to the year that we were on. And not only did we make it there, but I didn't even notice where we're in the future, guys. 2024. This is, oh my god, this is what the world's going to look like in 2024. Take it in. Make notes. This is what the future that we're all moving towards. Hey, that hospital shut down. 2024. Wow. Look at the future. Looks a lot like the turn of the century. And, uh, yeah, people, maybe by 2024, they will force prisoners to fight to the death in arenas, uh, Hunger Games style. Who knows? I mean, the world is a crazy messed up place, guys. But, ooh, that one, uh, it's cool when the buildings change right in front of you. That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, so, okay, you know, we've been playing this for an hour here. I should, I should probably wrap this up. SimCity Classic here. Um, is, this is a game that is amazing and I've had so much fun playing it in its original black and, and white version. This is, the, this is the version of SimCity I first played, not the DOS version that I played for my series. Um, this is the, the version that I first played as a kid. Uh, one more little bit, bit of trivia for this game, by the way. Um, when it was released, there were, um, there were DOS games at the time that had uh, you know, tons of colors. And when they were releasing SimCity, they actually intentionally did not create a DOS version of this game that could be played in a high color mode. Because they can because all the high colored modes had lower screen resolutions. And they considered the lower resolutions inadequate. They were not high resolution enough for SimCity to be able to be played properly. So in order to play SimCity, you have to have a high resolution um, computers, what what the thinking was, and it didn't really matter about color. Which kind of perfectly goes along with this game coming out um, for the Mac. It, you know, like, the, the game is pretty high resolution, but it's literally in black and white. And yet, that doesn't matter. This is a game where, like, the color doesn't matter, your imagination will fill it in. It's all about the detail. Seeing the little details and all the little buildings. I remember as a kid, like, you can see the football players playing and stuff. I would go around the city and just look at all the little buildings and cars and stuff. I think that's still a draw of the modern sim cities. People will build these big cities, and the, ci the, the games are far more complex these days. You could actually, like, follow an individual citizen and see what they do in their day and, like, follow them to work and stuff. And so uh, attention to detail has always been a big part of SimCity. But guys, um, what do you think of SimCity Classic here? Do you guys have any fond memories of playing this one uh, when you were a kid? Did you play it in school? Did you play it at home? Let me know in the comments down below because I am always interested to hear about your memories of these classic games in addition to my own. And as always, I hope you've had fun with me checking this game out. We built, we built a sprawling metropolis, my friends, from humble beginnings in the 1900s. So look at this. Look at these massive buildings. It, this is still townhouses. I don't get it. I don't get why big buildings don't grow here. But look, look at all these buildings. I mean, there are a few odd spots where, like, nobody wants to be. But, like, our city, our, ba our, our budget is balanced. We survive a monster attack and a tornado and a shipwreck. We haven't had a plane crash yet. Let's go ahead and have that happen right now. Boom! Plane crash. Um, is there anything else? Let's just end on an earthquake and a fire, and a flood, and another air crash, and a tornado, and a monster. It's, it's end of times, the apocalypse has come for all of us. A large reptilian. Oh, he's, he's coming for the power plant again. Oh, a tornado! Oh no, earthquakes! This is the end of time, guys! End of times! <laughs> guys, until next time, take care of yourselves, and have a good one. Peace. Godzilla literally disappeared. Like, is he still around? Oh, there he is. You gotta feel like when there's no army to defend the city, the sport of it is not there. Oh, sweet. Crime in your city is out of hand. Angry mobs are looting and vandalizing the central city. The president will send the National Guard soon. Oh, man. You know what we need is Batman. We need a hero. In dark times like this, we have to turn to the Dark Knight. Man, the whole city does not have power. Man, I really let this place down, didn't I?